4.4 number 20 uh, when we're trying to find um, well let me read it Jane is two miles offshore in a boat and wishes to it should be more interesting than that Jane is drowning two miles off ashore two miles and here's Jane she's sad because she's getting tired and there's sharks coming so we need to save her uh, and wishes to reach a coastal village six miles down a straight shoreline so she got attacked by sharks and there's a hospital six miles down in the coastal village and hopefully she makes it there in time um, she can row two miles per hour and can walk five miles an hour okay so I don't know if my interesting application still works for this scenario um, so she can row two miles per hour and can walk five miles per hour so we can say swim swim while bleeding two miles an hour and can walk limp swim and limp five miles per hour where should she land her boat slash where should she swim to shore to reach the village in the least amount of time all right so this is kind of like a problem where I think that people have even written um, papers so if you have a dog and you throw a frisbee like right here and it lands in the water the dog is not going to go all the way in and then jump and swim out and it's not going to jump into the water and go at the frisbee that way there's the theory that the dog will go to the appropriate length jump and minimize the time so really the dogs creating an equation to represent the scenario finding the derivative set it equal to zero and find the minimum time point right there to get the frisbee in time to make the owner happy back to Jane who just lost some precious time because of the dog scenario um, so she's gonna go not straight to the village she's gonna go somewhere in the middle and then she's gonna go there so the path that Jane will travel is swimming while bleeding limping on shore and that's the path we don't know where it is so I will call this X which would mean this would be 6 minus X and the hypotenuse of this right triangle would be the square root of x squared plus 4. All right, so those are distances. Um, we want to minimize time, and we know distance equals rate times time, so time equals the distance over rate, and we can find the time total is equal to the time in the water plus the time on land. Well, the time in the water is equal to the distance in the water divided by the rate in the water. So our distance in the water is right here, square root of x squared plus 4, divided by our rate in the water, which is 2. Um, our time on land is equal to our distance on land, which is 6 minus x, divided by our rate on land, which is limping at 5 miles per hour. So that's the hard part. We have our equation. Um, and if we're going to find the minimum time, we would find the derivative of it, set it equal to 0, and solve. So if you want to stop the video now, you can or stop listening if you're in class right now um, but I'm going to continue um, so I'm going to think of that as I'll clean that up a bit so t equals one half plus 1.2 minus 1 fifth x something like that six fifths is 1.2 okay so now derivative t prime equals one fourth x squared plus 4 to the negative 1 half times 2x minus 1 fifth. There's our derivative. So t prime is still 
x over 2 square root of x squared plus 4. And solve for x. So I'm going to add 1 fifth to each side. Let's see if I have room here. So 1 fifth equals x over 2 square root of that stuff. Cross multiply. I'm going to square both sides. So it's 4 times x squared plus 4 equals 25x squared. Alright, well at least there's no x term. So I've got 16 equals 21x squared. So x squared equals 16 21 so x would be, we don't need the negative, square root of 16 over 21. All right, so what is it that we asked? We were asked, where should she land her boat to reach the village in the least amount of time? She should go exactly the square root of 16 over 21 miles to the left or toward the hospital from where her perpendicular distance from shore is, if she wants to survive. And we hope that she knows calculus in order to live. Wait, there it is.